हेलो एवरी वन वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द डॉक्यूमेंट प्री प्रोसेसिंग और क्रिएशन ऑफ द लॉजिकल व्यू ऑफ द डॉक्यूमेंट इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव सीन द फर्स्ट टू स्टेप्स नाउ वी विल बी लुकिंग फॉर द फर्दर स्टेप्स सो सेम इज़ अ लर्निंग आउटकम स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू प्री प्रोसेस अ डॉक्यूमेंट एंड जनरेट द सेट ऑफ इंडेक्स टर्म्स सो यस वी हैव सीन दैट इन डॉक्यूमेंट प्रोसेसिंग वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज दैट जनरेशन ऑफ द सेट ऑफ इंडेक्स टर्म्स आइदर वी कैन गो फॉर द एबस्ट्रैक्ट व्यू और वी कैन गो फॉर द फुल इंडेक्स टर्म्स so yes with this lexical analysis elimination of the stop word these two steps we have seen in the last and then today we are going to uh, in the last lecture and now we are going to see the stemming selection of index terms and construction of the thesaurus so this is the example that we have seen this is the text that we have given and then after lexical analysis these terms or the words will be generated by removing the Uh, separators so here separators consider a space and comma so again we have removed the stop words so the words which are not carrying meaning any uh, information can be removed so particularly articles prepositions adjectives and so on or the connecting words are removed and this is the uh, words that we have identified after elimination of the stop words now let us look at the next step that is stemming <coughs> so what is stemming so frequently uh, user specifies a word in a query but only a variant of this word is present in the relevant document or the vice versa is the case okay so what is stem so stem is the portion of the word which is left after the removal of affixes so we can remove the prefixes or and suffixes and what is remain is the stem for example here consider connected connecting connection and connections so on this are all the variants of the word connect so once we are having the connect we can go for any of the document which is connecting all these variations of connect so stems are thought uh, to be useful for improving the retrieval performance because they reduce the variance of the same root otherwise what will happen in the same document i can store all these four five words instead after saving one reward will be used for this five words so of course this is going to save the space over there uh, so it will reduce the size of the indexing structure since the number of index terms are reduced but there is a controversy available in literature about the benefits of the stem now there are many algorithms available that like affix removal table lookup successor variety engrams and so on out of that the one algorithm is affix removal algorithm that is potter algorithm so what the potter algorithm uses is a suffix list or the suffix stripping so idea is that apply the ser a series of rules of suffix uh, to the suffixes of the words in a text so what kind of suffixes so one thing can be from plural we are going to convert it into the singular form or if it is in past tense we are going to convert it into the original verb form and so on so let us look at the examples and the rules that we are written so ss es will be replaced by only ss so for example here kers ks will be removed by this kers so ponies is will be removed by i so ponies will be uh, converted into the pony ties will be removed to tie ss will be again replaced by the same so we can keep the same as it is or s can be replaced by the nulls so for example cats will be converted into the cat over there so this is some of the rules second rule is that this past is so feed to feed only <coughs> agreed to agree then plastered that can be removed to plaster okay so monitoring can oh, sorry motoring can be converted by removing ing to motor singing to sing and so on so here it should be actually singing so singing will be uh, given to the sing s will be replaced by the nurse so same is example here cats by cat over there so this is one example that we have already converted our uh, after removing the stop words this is the words that we have obtained now this can be converted after the Uh, this can be uh, uh, stemming can be applied to this particular uh, data and then we are going to obtain the now unfortunately there is no common terms available but yes we are going to apply the potter algorithm and then let us see what the words or the which is the set of the words that we can obtain so pause the video and let us write down some of the words after stemming or after applying the potter algorithm yeah so these are the words consist or the documents or the keywords will be converted will be this s will be removed by applying the algorithms and this is the words that which we are getting after stem
Next is going to be uh, index term selection. So, after getting these terms, which words should be adapted? So, if there is a full text representation, then all the words in the text are used as an index term. If you remember in part 1, we have seen the diagram at any step, we can go for the creation of the index terms. Or alternative is we can use the more abstract view in which not all the words will be used as an index terms. So, uh, in the area of bibliograph uh, bibliographic sciences, such selection of index terms is usually done by the specialist. So, uh, or the alternative approach is that it will be done automatically. So, any of the algorithm is used for adopting the or uh, selecting this index terms. So, which will be the index terms? Generally, we see we have already discussed that nouns will be the index terms, but sometimes it is common to combine two or three nouns in a single component. For example, uh, you are having computer, you are having science separately, but yes computer science is required many times as a single word or a single group. So, we have to cluster these nouns which will appear like a single word over there or single indexing component or a concept over there. So, noun group is a set of nouns whose syntactic distance in the text which will be generally measured in the term of number of words does not exceed the predefined threshold. For example, we have defined the threshold of 3. So, maximum we can have the 3 words to be combined into the one component. So, information retrieval. So, many times we require this information retrieval if you are going to see or if you want to retrieve the information about this particular subject or the algorithm and so on. So, after in uh, identifying this index terms, what is the next term is that creation of this thesaurus. So, before that what is this thesaurus or what is this word come from? So, it is a word come from the treasury word. So, it is a pre-compiled uh, pre list of important words given in the domain of the knowledge and for each word we are having the set of related words. So, it involves a normalization of the vocabulary and it will include a structure which will be more complex than the list of words and the synonyms. So, we know that when we do not uh, have some information or we do not uh, we do not know the words, we take the help of this thesaurus which will suggest some related words or synonyms for us and when we can use the, this particular words. So, what is the use of this uh, thesaurus? So, main purpose of this thesaurus is to provide the standard vocabulary or a system of references for indexing and search. Uh, second is that to assist the users with locating term for proper query formulation. Sometimes I want to uh, find some information, but I am not able to form the query. I do not know what is the word that I have to use, then at that time I can use this thesaurus for the help. Uh, to provide the classified hierarchy that allows the broadening and narrowing of the current query request according to the needs of the user. So, user has written some long description over there, then processing such query will be more complicated for this uh, search algorithm. So, better to sometimes we need to expand it and we need to compress it to the specific words, so that it will be more easy for the search algorithm. So, what is the motivation of this building thesaurus is based on the fundamental idea of the controlled vocabulary of the uh, for the indexing and searching. In the first lecture only we have seen that when we are deriving index terms, it is the task like controlling the size of the vocabulary because as the text is growing, the size of the vocabulary is also, uh, it will also grow. So, why we require this controlled vocabulary? So, what are the advantage? So, normalization of the indexing concepts it will reduce the reduction or there will be the it will reduce the noise or there will be the reduction of the noise. It will identify the index terms with clear semantics or the meaning over there and retrieval will be based on the concepts rather than words. Okay. So, this main component of this thesaurus is its index terms, relationship in between the index terms and layout design for the relationship. Let us look at this terms one by one. So, thesaurus index terms this is the term used in which can be used for denoting a concept. Now, the basic unit is that again the noun. So, this can be the terms can be the words, group of words, phrases or but not of, but most of them are single words <coughs> sorry, though we are giving the group of nouns or group of words. The terms basically are nouns because we know that nouns are the most concrete part of the speech. The term can also be in gerund form whenever they are uh, used as a noun. So, for example, acting, teaching and so on we will be using as it is. So, decide uh, we have to decide whether we are going to use for the singular or a plural or not, uh, not always the singular or plural. So, depending on this matter we can decide which has to be used. Also, 
it is necessary to complement the thesaurus entry with the definition of the explanation. Why this is required? Because we know that there are many words carrying with the different meaning over there. So, here for example, when we say seal, so there are two contexts, one is the uh, marine animal and the second one is documents. So, whether when we are saying seal, whether we are going for the marine animals or documents, if we we'll give that context, then it will be more easy to search or the retrieve over there. So, here thesaurus term relationship, once you have identified the terms, the terms which are related to each other has to be written as the compressed, uh, has to be compressed as in synonyms or near synonyms, so that it will be easy to search over there. Of course, the relation can be also induced by the patterns of co-occurrence within the documents. So, once we have identified this relationship, once we have identified the index, how this will be used in information retrieval. Generally, we know that when we use thesaurus, when somebody is writing or writer needs some more information about the words, he or she can take the help of this thesaurus. So, same here when we are writing a query, so whenever a user wants to retrieve some of the documents, he will uh, first write a conceptualization or for what he or she is looking for. Once this has been given, the collection is too vast and the user is inexperienced. So, he does not know about the what should be the index terms that I should use, so that the result will be more proper. Okay? So, or as since the user is inexperienced, initially or the first time result may be erroneous or improper. Then what will happen? When he, uh, he will take the uh, help of this or it was go through that thesaurus, he, uh, the user will be able to formulate the query or reformulate the query and get the proper result. So, this is how it will be useful the thesaurus. Okay? So, this is what we have seen in document preprocessing. The first step is lexical analysis, second is elimination of the stop word, third one is the stemming, fourth one is that select the index term after preprocessing all these things and then build the thesaurus structure or any structure like a thesaurus. And once we have done, we can go for the searching or retrieval of the document. Thank you.